coming down to the water now and we've got some men working up in the trees with a chainsaw not something he sees every day lots to look at leaves and branches all over the road cones either side and noises rustling up in the bushes but he's walked past it no problem at all and it's these sorts of things that you can encounter any time while you're out driving and certainly in a road like this where it's so narrow it's not easy to turn your horse around and go back the other way and sometimes you can't do that so it's nice to know that your horse will go past it and that's what we train them to do. We've got Fletcher driving him today with Barry on the back, coming down into town a different way. They've just finished doing the roadworks up this stretch of road, so we've got different coloured road surface for him to go over. They've painted all these arrows on the road as well, so it's not something he's seen before. There's also three lanes of traffic now instead of two which is lovely because if we're going over into the middle lane you get cars pulling over into the filter lane and also coming up the inside so it's a lovely thing for him to experience you can see no hesitation there going over these different surfaces not bothered about those white arrows on the road We're still driving him just in a soft rubber bit. We're going to bring him down onto this roundabout and take him round a couple of times so we can get some traffic going round him. I mean, when this pony came to us to be broken, his owner said uh, he was very, very nervous in traffic. You know, very bad, even to the point of being turned out in a field next to the road. Um, and he was still terrible even though he was turned out so it's certainly taken us a while to get him to this stage but driving him round here you know a newly broken horse only in a piece of rubber he's got no metal bits on him to hold him back it's just a rubber snaffle so no brakes no curb chains and you can see he's coping with this brilliantly just being driven on a nice soft rein all the different motor vehicles around him overtaking him, waiting by the side of him when he's standing at the lights the motorbike just got his inside there lots and lots for a horse to see and this is exactly what we want, we want to train them to remain calm and confident even in heavy traffic, you can see Fletcher just holding the reins up there so He's not running off, he's not speeding up at all. Just going on a nice slack rain, right in the middle of town. With all this traffic around him. And we're taking him around a couple of times today. There's lots of people who say that roundabouts aren't the safest place for horses, but if they're trained properly, there's no reason why they shouldn't be treated just like any other road user. So they blend in with the traffic, they flow with the traffic, they don't cause a problem. So on a roundabout like this, obviously you can't stay in the left-hand lane. 
you know, in, in this case it would be more dangerous to stay in the left hand lane to go completely round the roundabout so if you do go into the correct lane as you would do if you were driving a car your horse has got to be able to cope with traffic coming up both sides of him without panicking and that's what we've trained him to do so this is one of the I think it is the busiest roundabout that we have near us and lots of different entrances and exits onto it and it's also a route that you get lots of lorries going down as well so really really good for training horses see Fletcher still holding the reins up nice and slack I and mean, he's got to steer him round the roundabout obviously to keep him in the lane but the horse is as good as gold just moving him over into the outside now about to come off the roundabout so different again because this time he's got traffic coming up the outside and also going past traffic waiting on on the entrances to the roundabout sometimes they can hear all the noises the revving of the engines but because the traffic's you know back a little bit from where the horse is that can also upset them so it's another good thing that we like to train them for by bringing them onto a roundabout it just helps them get used to all sorts of different situations and this time he's brought him back onto the roundabout, the lights are red so he's got to stand still just to show that he'll wait perfectly happily with cars beside him no groom at his head, we don't believe in that the horse has got to stand still because he's been told to and because he's happy to do so and in this case there's nobody being born that's strong enough to stop him from leaping sideways and smashing into a car if he wanted to so it just shows the level of training if you like that the horse will stand there without anybody at his head just because the driver's asked him to and remain stood still regardless of cars revving their engines around him or moving off beside him view now I'm filming from the car again it's a red light just showing that he's standing still moves off when he's told Got cars behind him overtaking him again so I'm going to stay in this lane now I know uh, Fletch is going to be moving over into the left hand lane to come off the roundabout so what I'm going to do is um, come and overtake him so the horse will hear me accelerating I've got to stop now for the lights but they've got to carry on so he's just had the noise of me and the engine of the Land Cruiser behind him and then all of a sudden that noise disappears because I've had to stop but you can see He's not been bothered by that, he's just carrying on. And they're just bringing him back to a walk up ahead to let me catch up. So again, more acceleration behind him. You can hear the car approaching. out of town now we're going to have a little break before heading home faster section of the ring road up here but he's still nice and relaxed in this section of roads there's a footbridge that goes overhead so not only have you got the shadow on the road that he's got to go over and there's also a slight echo and noise as he passes underneath it as well as the noise from all the traffic around him but as you can see no speeding up 
no reaction to it at all. Just trotting away nice and happily. This stretch of road, not only has he got the roadworks on this side, but further ahead they've also put some temporary traffic lights in. So the road goes down to a single track. He's got to go past it and that's another situation where you want to know that your horse will go forward past everything because if you're on a single lane of traffic there's a hedge one side, security fencing the other, there's no escape route and if you've gone through the lights and you've got cars waiting behind you, you can hardly stop and take your horse out of harness and get out of the way so you've got to know that he, he's got the confidence to go forwards and go past anything that might be there and that's what we train them to do is to be safe, confident and happy and he's got to have the confidence in the driver in order to go past everything so you can see there's the cones and all these different mounds of earth to look at on the side of the road everything stacked up there, the plastic flapping in the breeze coming up to these traffic lights as well, I think he's got to bring him back to a standstill because the lights are red so he's got to wait with a car in front of him and a car behind him got to stand still when he's asked, you wouldn't want him spooking and jumping forwards into a car ahead so it's nice to know that he will wait in a queue of traffic because it's exactly the same the sort of situation you might find yourself in at any time it's not, it can't just happen in a town, it could happen down a country lane as well so moving off again now and this is a part I was talking about, you've got the traffic lights on this side of the road and then the security fencing making it a single track now if you got into trouble out here or your horse wouldn't go past this digger on the side of the road for example there's nowhere to go you can hardly take the whole turn out through the hedge so you've got to know that your horse has got the confidence to go past it and if your horse has been trained properly it shouldn't be a problem a journey. See we've got these railings at the side of the road, lots for him to look at. This is by the Mayfly pub, so you get a lot of noise from people eating and doors slamming shut, that sort of thing. And the road also slopes down towards these railings, so it can be quite daunting for a horse to walk past, you know, especially if he... Oh, well. a scooter coming past, different noise of the engine right, again. Right. Still being driven just in a soft piece of rubber. You can see Fletcher's just letting him walk along calmly on a nice slack rein. Got the flapping flag on top of that little red car that just went past. And again, he's quite content just to walk along the road, not getting upset by anything, all the cars passing. And that's exactly what we want to see, that he's nice and relaxed out in traffic. And he'll walk when he's told, he'll trot when he's told. 
a cyclist going past him, no reaction. And just here you can hear this car accelerating and coming past him quite fast. Exactly the sort of thing that can happen, sometimes people don't want to wait. And that's exactly why we train horses to cope with the things we do, because those sorts of things can happen. And you can see the little chap never bothered about it at all. I mean, these cars pass him on a narrow lane as well. So things like that car overtaking really quickly can happen on a country lane as well. Fletcher here just driving him on a nice slack rein. Just to show you his little head carriage. And all this has been done just on a soft rubber bit.